Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We headed straight into this. You know, we, we got something to talk about. You guys Juice World fans? Hey, let me know. I want to see what you guys, what, put me on some of those, I don't know, freaking, what's it called? Unlisted songs, them unreleased songs, you know what I mean? I already got a lot. But I'm trying to hear more, you know. I'm trying to hear the new shit. Let me know. Alright. Let's go into this. There are some videos on YouTube that were supposedly made for either comedic or artistic effect that are creepier than any ghost or paranormal video that you might find on YouTube. It's the five scariest real videos on YouTube. At number 5, it's Shea St. John. Shea St. John is without a doubt one of the creepiest characters to ever emerge from YouTube. As described by the performance artist who created her, the Shea St. John character is a woman who was horribly disfigured in a car crash, but rebuilt her scarred body using old mannequin parts. Shea St. John's most popular video involves the half-mannequin creature doing her quote-unquote hand thing. Her twisted wooden hands move back and forth while strange discordant music plays in the background. Shea St. John cannot really be summed up in one video, but luckily there is an entire channel devoted to this creepiness. At number four Damn. is Ederim. Many That's crazy! I did not even want to look at that shit. I kept looking away and everything. That's really disturbing. It's crazy how some videos can be disturbing, man. God damn. Scary ass video. I just thought I'm on my knees for a second. Like, she. One time, because she came over here, right? And we was, we was watching. Like, I asked her, let's watch scary videos. She's like, uh huh. We got too much stuff going on for me. And I'm like, yeah, for real? Anyways, let's, let's get into this. Many people have seen the videos of some creepy old man lip syncing along to famous songs like Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman, all the while making some strange facial expressions. However, what makes this video truly disturbing is knowing the background of the man who made the video. Ederim was Edward Robert Muscare, a convicted pedophile and registered sex offender. In the 1970s, Muscare hosted a late night show on a Kansas City TV station. On the show, he introduced horror movies while dressed in a vampire costume and went by the very creepy stage name, Uncle Ed. By making his popular YouTube videos, Edward Muscare was violating his court-ordered parole, which stated that he was not allowed to own a computer. After his videos went viral, Muscare was arrested. Hold up. Stop Hi. now. Oh my god. Fuck. That shit scaring me. Let's hear this again. This video truly disturbing is knowing the background of the man who made the video. Ederim was Edward Robert Muscare convicted pedophile and registered sex offender. In the 1970s, Muscare hosted a late night show on a Kansas City TV station. On the show, he introduced horror movies while dressed in a vampire costume and went by the very creepy stage name, Uncle Ed. Costume and went On the show, he introduced horror movies while dressed in a vampire costume and went by the very creepy stage name, Uncle Ed. So did he do anything wrong? What did he do? Oh, up here. Is knowing the background of the man who made the video. Ederim was Edward Robert Muscare, a convicted pedophile and registered sex offender. In oh, the 1970s, boy. Muscare hosted Fuck that shit. No wonder. Right. and later died in prison. Videos went viral, Muscare was arrested 
and later died in prison. What makes Ederim's video so scary is the knowledge that when you watch an Ederim video, you're actually watching a creepy old dead man lip-syncing popular love songs. Bye bye Number 3. Obey the Walrus Obey the Walrus begins with a strange children's song playing in some weird psychedelic graphics. Then suddenly the tune speeds up and begins playing in reverse. Next we see a transgender man who appears to be afflicted with some serious physical deformity. He is dancing around in lingerie with what looks to be the head of a clown doll in his hair. The video repeats and finally, as the video ends, we see the image of a walrus. Number 2. I Feel Fantastic The video I- I'm sorry, uh, no disrespect. I just- I legit- just scared of that video, man. But I just scared the fuck out of me the first time I seen it, man. Can you believe? I was lying with my brother one time and this with this one girl. Well, he was with that one girl. And I was just with them, you know? I think it was like cousins or something. Yeah, or something. I don't even know. But it's crazy. Anyways. Bro, we was watching that. And I Shoot. I didn't know to be scared or something at first. Or... To feel bad. But damn. That shit scared the hell out of me. I thought it was like... And then the scary music. It's just the scary music, man. It's really scary, man. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going into this. I Feel Fantastic shows a simplistic robot repeatedly singing, I feel fantastic. You feel fantastic. Over and over in varying pitches. At one point, the robot appears in different clothing, lying on the floor in what can only be assumed to be a quote-unquote seductive pose. Then there is a strange shot of a backyard. The weird internet urban legend around this video is that this clip was uploaded by a serial killer who dressed the robot in his victim's clothes. The urban legend says that the strange shot of the backyard shows where the bodies of his victims are buried. What makes the video especially creepy is that at one point in the video, the robot stops saying, I felt fantastic and just start singing, run, 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 please leave, please leave. Number one. All right, look, 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 we're gonna see this again. Cause this was not very creepy to me. This was not very creepy to me. We're gonna talk a little bit during this. You guys already seen it. So we're gonna watch it and see what's going on. Cause honestly, for real, these are all the same clothes, and unless some lady like got kidnapped with clothes and stuff, usually that doesn't happen, right? It, unless they got clothes for her that fit her, her size and everything. This is all what? What if this is just the person's clothes and she just like? I oh, don't know, bro. It does sound scary, because why is this here? Why is this whole camera shot pointing to the grass and woods out there? And then the message behind it, because you hear what Nuke talk about 5B saying, he never be liking, bro. He always on top with them videos. So he's pretty worthy, trustworthy, trustworthy. But dang. And then I don't find this, find this very scary. It's crazy. Combs. Now there are many videos that claim to be found footage. In fact, the whole movie genre has sprung up around the term. However, there is an actual real found footage video that exists on YouTube. First, a little backstory. Underneath the city of Paris lies the catacombs. The Paris catacombs are an elaborate series of tunnels and mass graves spanning over 400 miles. Some of the walls lining Damn, where's this at? Los Angeles or something? 
What is this? Where is this even at? California or some shit? You see that map? That look like some California However, shit. there is an actual real found footage video that exists on YouTube. First, a little backstory. Underneath the city of Paris lies the catacombs. The Paris catacombs are an elaborate series of tunnels and mass graves spanning over 400 miles. Some of the walls lining the catacombs are made entirely out of human bones and skull. An abandoned video camera was found somewhere in the Paris catacombs. Inside the camera was what is now known as the Lost in the Catacombs video. This video shows a man walking alone through the Paris catacombs. We see the video from a first person perspective as he films his exploration. We see several strange images as the catacomb explorer films. He finds pieces of human bones and skulls, strange wall paintings, and a creepy series of arrows on the floor pointing down tunnel pathways. What may be strangest of all is the fact that the arrows he finds are made out of human bones. Soon the video becomes chaotic. The man begins to breathe heavy and his pace quickens becoming a run. Let me ask you something. Why do you keep going in then if you start feeling different and shit? And start breathing heavy? Why don't, you, why don't you turn around and just head back where you came from, away from the arrows? Because you're walking towards the arrows. Why don't you just walk away from them where you came from? His path through the cavern seems to become random as though he's running from someone or something in the dark. He seems to have no real path in mind. The man suddenly drops his camera, or maybe it's not from his hand. We then see him run away into the darkness, heading deeper into the catacombs as if frightened for his life. Yeah, let's talk about that. Because if it was in his hand, ain't nobody really... Let me see what the camera view is looking like. ...in the dark. He seems to have no real path in mind. The man suddenly drops his camera, or maybe it's not from his hand. His camera view is all over the place, huh? Let's take a look at that one more time. Soon the video becomes chaotic. The man begins to breathe heavy. Are you pace... focusing on cam? Are you focusing on with this up here? The camera up here while you're running and shit? Well, maybe you are if you're going like this. But then, even then, it'd be like if you're running fast, you're trying to run fast, right? Ain't no way that shit not going like that. You know what I'm talking about? So I don't know, maybe it's fake, maybe it's real. What do you think? You think it's real or fake? Down below, let me know. Quicken's becoming a run. His path through the cavern seems to become random as though he's running from someone or something in the dark. He seems to have no real path in mind. The man suddenly drops his camera, or maybe it's not from his hand. We then see him run away into the darkness heading deeper into the catacombs as if frightened for his life. The video runs to the end of the tape, but the man is never seen again. To this day, the person who made the Lost in the Catacombs tape has never been found. That's the top five scariest real videos on YouTube. Links to each video are in the video description. Just a note, I'll soon be splitting all of my strange, creepy, scary videos off into a second channel. Nukes Top 5. So if you like this kind of stuff, like this video, please subscribe to my second channel. Right here. Right now. Yeah, go subscribe to Nukes. Nuke Top 5, bro. Honestly, he makes a, one of the best content I know. You know, he's pretty dope with them scary, real, authentic videos that look real and shit. That could be real or fake. You just let him know. You, you decide. For real. Hey, but... We gonna head out just like this. Please subscribe to Nukesup5. And if you want, if you like my video, subscribe to me. You know. And then, uh... Yeah. Let's get up there. Peace out.